Hello, I'm Oliver Sterthaus. I'm the lab head here of Ferti Swiss in Alten, Switzerland. And I hold a PhD in reproductive animal science and I uh, followed by a postdoc in a big IVF university hospital. And in total, I have already now around 15 years experience in reproductive biology. In 2014, the physicians and me uh, built and designed this clinic with a good friend uh, who is an architect. And in 2015, we started operative here and we had approximately uh, 100 fresh cycles. But uh, this clinic is designed for around 600 fresh cycles. And we try here to have an integrative medicine, which means that we have physicians for andrology, for psychosomatic counseling, um, as well as for surgery. But also we have a consolation team for overweight as well as a group for traditional uh, Chinese medicine. To be this manifold um, helps us to be as patient-specific as possible and that each patient gets his own diagnostics. Um, this also goes on in the embryology area, which means that we aim for one healthy singleton baby per couple. We are here in Switzerland and use the laser system already since 15 years. I myself use this system since 10 years, but since we have a brand new lab, we decided to go now for the Navi laser system, which is a quite unique system. And I think it's the only one so far where you just can sit down and uh, go for your treatments because it's calibration free. And what we normally do with the laser system is that we do um, trophectoderm biopsies or zona thinning. As well, you could do blastocyst collapsing for verification. We tried to build a real modern lab, so that's why we decided for an electronic condenser, which is this part here. And the benefits of this condenser are that it's really robust. And as soon as you switch an objective here, the condenser will just change automatically. So this future will change your microscope into a semi-automatic microscope, which is quite nice because in this way you really have all the time the, uh, a unique and good picture. So we are using a monitoring system here because we are not in a public hospital. Uh, we need an alarm system and we decided us for a um, lock and guard system because this is a system which is integrating all kinds of sensors in one little unit. And what we have is now external CO2 sensors for our incubators as well as temperature sensors, also all our refrigerators and also freezers are connected to these sensors as well as the liquid nitrogen tanks. So we have all the time a good overview what is going on and happening in our lab.